This video will help instructors get started using Turnitin Feedback Studio, accessed through Turnitin.com. By the end of this video, you will be able to log into your account, create a class, enroll students, set up an assignment, view submissions in an assignment. After you've walked through the process of setting up your account with your email and password, navigate to Turnitin.com and click the Login button in the top right. If your institution has set up single sign-on, you will be able to log in directly without setting up an account. If you are unsure how to log in, speak with your administrator. Let's start with creating a class. Classes are an important administrative function within Feedback Studio and allow you to set up assignments and add students. We will talk about standard classes in this video, but a master class can be created if you are teaching a class with multiple sections or multiple instructors. Click the Add Class button on the Instructor homepage. On the next screen, enter the following information. Class name, enrollment key. The enrollment key will allow your students to access your class, so it should not be publicly shared. The subject area and the student level then select the end date for the class. Once the end date has passed, the class will not be accessible for submissions unless the class is reactivated. Click Submit to add the class. Class information will be displayed in a pop-up window containing the ID and enrollment key. Next, let's look at enrolling students. To access the student page, click the All Classes tab, then select the name of the class you want to access. This will take you to the class homepage. From there, select the Students tab in the Tab column. This will show you the list of students enrolled in the class. You have three options for enrolling students into your class. First, you can enroll students individually. Click the Add Student button. Enter the required information. The student will receive a welcome email. And if the student's email address is not already associated with an existing Turnitin user account, or if single sign-on has not been enabled by the institution, they will have to set their account up before they can access the class. The next option is to add a list of students to the class. To do this, click the Upload Student List button. You can then choose a file to upload. Click Submit, and then the student list is displayed. Note that the file used for this option must be a Microsoft Excel file, featuring the first name, last name, and email address of the students. To self-enroll in your class, students must have the numeric class ID and the case-sensitive class enrollment key. This provides a student user with authorization to access the class on Feedback Studio. The class ID is visible next to the class name on your home page. To access the enrollment key, click the Edit button. You can then view and edit your enrollment key. All submissions by students are made to assignments within a class. There are two types of assignments available, Paper assignments which students submit directly to the instructor and peer mark assignments which allow for students to give feedback on each other's work. For now, we will look at paper assignments. To begin, click the All Classes tab, then select the class to which you wish to add the assignment. Click the Add Assignment button. On the next page, enter the assignment title. Select the start and due dates for the assignment. You will also need to select specific times, Students are only able to submit once the start date and time has passed. After the due date and time, students will be blocked from submitting papers, unless you enable late submissions. The release date is when students can see your feedback on their submission. In the drop-down box, you can choose whether papers are submitted to the standard paper repository, or if they are not stored for comparison against other submissions. In optional settings, you can select from various submission settings, including whether any file type can be submitted. You should only select this if you do not need a similarity report for submissions, as only certain file types can be checked for similarity. You can also choose here to attach a rubric. Further down, you can set options for the similarity report, including when students can see this. If you choose the option to allow students to resubmit until the due date, Students will be able to use their similarity score as formative feedback and resubmit their assignment multiple times before the deadline. Below this, 
The compare against options allow you to decide which repositories the papers are compared against. The default here is to compare against all these options. Additionally, you may ask students to submit their assignment using a preset template and use this setting to exclude this from the similarity report. Finally, if you think you will use similar options for future assignments, click the option to save these settings for next time. When you have completed setting up your assignment, click the Submit button. After the assignment is created, the details for the assignment will be available in student accounts enrolled in this class. Once students have submitted assignments, you may view submissions by clicking the class name. The status of the assignment shows how many students in the class have submitted. Click View to enter the assignment inbox where you will see details for each submission. Click on a submission to see the paper. The text of the submission appears on the left with the layers on the right-hand side. Layers allow you to toggle between the similarity, grading, and AI writing views. Within the similarity layer, you will have access to flags, the match overview, and all sources. You can also filter the types of matches that appear in the report. Within the blue AI writing layer, you can see a report on the estimated amount of AI-generated content in the paper. This is designed to aid you in distinguishing between AI-generated and human-generated text. You should use your judgment when determining whether academic misconduct has occurred. Note that the AI writing report now distinguishes between text that has been generated by AI and AI-generated text that has been subsequently revised using an AI paraphrasing tool or text spinner. If you need more advice, look through these resources within the report. Since students will not be able to see the AI layer, we recommend letting them know it exists. Within the grading layer, you can add quick marks and comments. Use your rubric and leave feedback as an overall voice or text comment. Use these tools to evaluate and leave feedback on your students' assignments. Arrows allow you to move easily to the next submission in the assignment. We hope this video provided you with a useful introduction to Turnitin Feedback Studio. For more help with Feedback Studio and with Turnitin's AI writing detection, visit these resources.